This is a catamaran design that I made. I made the trampoline so that it can um, sleep two persons. So it's a uh, little more than two meters this way. Uh, as you can see here. 203 between the endings. And uh, between here it's 133 so centimeters, so it should be possible to sleep two persons on this trampoline. I want it to be light to transport, thus I made the beams short and um, I made the hulls uh, as low weight as possible compared to the loading capabilities meaning that it's uh, roughly uh, round spherical form uh, the hulls uh, should be possible to transport on the roof rack so when disassembled i don't want this to be weighing more than about uh, oh, less than 30 kilos. Uh, the uh, inside volume need to be big enough to fit uh, enough camping gears. So one hatch on each hull in the front for the smaller stuff and one bigger hatch in the aft end for bigger stuff and I'm thinking that this might fit at least four watertight bags uh, in the in the aft end on each shawl and uh, perhaps two one or two uh, in the front so that should be plenty enough uh, I made the bow with a little bit of curvature. I might uh, flatten around this off a little bit so it doesn't look so uh, square. Uh, but uh, roughly this shape uh, to uh, stay level without having dangerous too little buoyancy. So the front end it has, doesn't have so much volume. Uh, but still enough volume to, to cope with very big waves but cut through smaller mid-size waves. The hull shape uh, generally to get low drag resistance uh, I have made the, the hulls uh, spherical with a spherical shape roughly uh, some modification here in the front, they are a little bit extended on the vertical line to take waves better. And in the end, in the aft end, uh, they are a little bit outfalling above the water surface to uh, handle uh, high speeds better when the aft end sinks down into the waves. The bottom I made flat so it could be self-standing when uh, mounting the pieces together with a short keel uh, to also extend the self-standing part down back to the back pillar so this pillar testing the crossbeam will uh, have support from the ground on the flat surface. Uh, it won't add that much water resistance but uh, I made it as short as possible. One could extend the keel a little longer to have uh, less need for a centerboard at least in low speeds but uh, I'm planning on fitting a centerboard Pivoting centerboards, so this uh, centerboard here will uh, 
flip down in use and be lifted up with when not in use and also be able to kick up if uh, I hit something. Um, the ending is thin at the this is a water surface uh, <coughs> so very thin in the in the ending here to get little uh, drag resistance uh, and that's important in in low speed yeah so now you have seen the design i might uh, need to do some small adjustments uh, when i'm checking things i will take measures and uh, do proper bulkheads and from that i might see that i will need to adjust something <coughs> 